Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we will talk about a custom built application with Arduino Uno where I'm measuring a battery status with an Inner 219, a current and voltage sensor, logging the data in an SD card, and keeping the time and monitoring everything with an LCD display. So, I have a custom built battery. Uh, you might have seen in my previous videos and uh, I want to monitor what is entering and how it is behaving with this charge controller with this solar charge controller which is claiming a, which is an MPPT it is from Aliexpress and I really doubt that is an MPPT MPPT but it is what it is so we will monitor today this one So we have to disassemble this part to be able to connect to our monitoring application. And uh, I will fake the panel with a 20 volt and 2 amp um, charger, which, is a, which was a laptop charger in the past. And this is perfect for faking a solar panel. What we have to do, we have to connect the voltage to the shunt here is like we have to, to split it from here connect one wire here to be able to measure the current and here is another end and I have connected that the ground right away so we might have to to add some ground reference as well this is already working as you can see and let's add the ground reference since it is a black cable we will add the black and let's connect this ground reference here just to be sure later I will show the schematic and what is in bottom of, of that PCB and here it is so theoretically we have everything connected we just have to be able to read the data and log it to the SD card and I will use right away the output of that solar charge controller see if anything works system is ready it is measuring some some milliamps and this is this is the outputs so actually it is consuming 500 milliwatts it has 10 volts and it has some current so okay let's connect that to the charger and you can see the voltage is increasing yeah it's changing too frequently the time because i have uh, added a really high sampling rate due to the sd card there is a minus current, it's uh, really strange that it is appearing a minus current but anyhow it is measuring and showing something and later we will check what is going on on the SD card itself and this battery is monitored already I will leave here to charge a bit because because it needs to be charged and we will have uh, plenty of data and we can check the SD card Meanwhile, let's talk about the PCB, or how the PCB is structured, what is in bottom of that, and what is the architecture of, uh, of my application, and I will show you the code part as well. So let's disconnect a bit, let's see what is inside of, of that PCB, and uh, as you can already see, like th there is an inner 209 current and voltage sensor and you can calculate the power from that 
um, I have connected that as a ground reference. This is the the voltage measurement, and it is cut it in between. There is the source, the five volt, and the ground for the display. In the background, I'm using an Arduino Uno. Uh, we have an SD card, SD card logging, and here is a time, a clock, and an ATC module. And if I disassemble this part in the bottom, you can see I have soldered the pins just uh, accordingly to the plans and to the PCB. And this is the Uno itself. It's very simple. And now let's bring the data what we have recorded in the SD card to the PC and see what is inside. So the code is simple like a brick. We have the includes. We are defining the chipset for the SD card logging as pin 10. Then we are defining the RTC module, which is a DS13017. Uh, it is part of the development board what I have purchased. We are defining the other fluid. It's actually not really other fluid, but it is an inner 209 and I'm using not 219 and I'm using the other free library and we are defining the log file where we are logging the data and then the LCD display this is a standard address of the 16 by 2 LCD display then we are defining the serial monitor like we are starting a serial monitoring uh, checking if the RTC module fails similarly gathering the data to adjust Er, the theoretically it stores because we have a battery inside but um, we, we are just checking to be sure same for the inner 219 uh, our current and voltage sensor uh, for the SD card then we are opening the log file which is a CSV formatted file to write that file to save that data and um, as you can already see here in the data which remain from the last uh, call like we are collecting uh, really frequent sample data and we will be able to trend it later on in an excel or in a chart or in any kind of solution what you want and we are defining the header so this will be added uh, every time uh, no actually this uh, this is added once if the file is empty and then initializing the screen the system is ready we are fine to start adding after one second of delay and then here is our loop which is our main core of, of our code and um, uh, we are getting the data uh, of, of the of the RTC the real-time clock uh, now and we are printing it out in, a, in this kind of format like year, month, day and hour, minutes, second. Then here is the, the in a 219, 219 measurement, the voltage, uh, the bus voltage, the, the shunt voltage, the current in, in milliamp and the power in milliwatt. Then here is the print line, what you actually see here and for debug purposes I kept it over there it might slows down the the code but it's fine it's anyhow it's we have a ton of data uh, then here is the log part we are logging it in uh, in the log file and we are flushing it uh, uh, to ensure that um, the SD card is written and as you can see I have commented here the, the data as well and then here is the LCD part where we are printing out uh, the bus voltage, the current, and the power factor, the power itself in milliwatt, not the power factor. And um, I have added an uh, 0 0.1 uh, second delay. We can remove if it's needed. It's um, it's good to keep there. Like uh, usually, you should keep like five, ten minutes, or ten minutes. Uh, um, data it depends on how frequently you are receiving uh, that that information and as you see in in the beginning like I'm plotting out which part of the information has been initialized 
like SD card, the current and voltage sensor, the TINA 219, and the DS1307 uh, RTC. And that's that's basically the code part, and we are just logging the information. And yeah, that's it. So basically this is the final log file. This is how it looks like. And after messing a lot with Excel and Google Sheets and uh, with all of that, I have decided I will create my own application in Python. It's better and easier and quicker and would be future proof so I can reuse that in the future as well. So let's run the application and that's how the trend looks like. Uh, which is correct. There is a gap uh, with the timestamp. I can zoom in over here at that time frame where we will see the millis increasing. So it might would make sense to take out the millis and just to keep the, the bus voltage, the current and the power. And let's see that if I can comment out so the millis and the shunt voltage doesn't make any sense to keep it. Let's run it again and we are focusing on on this part and also the power it's creating a big drop so uh, it would look strange in the scale let me take out the power as well since it is in milliwatt and it is measuring um, probably more data than this is irrelevant for us it might would make sense to show the current in uh, in uh, amps instead of milliamps which was producing a maximum 3.2 probably this is still 3.2 amps and uh, if we see that the current is dropping uh, like it is increasing in the beginning and once i start to charge it is dropping so let's just keep only the bus voltage to see that the data on the based on the timestamp so and basically this is what we have expected that's our bus voltage jumping here and there and we see that there is a uh, smooth increase and in measurement noise but that's how our controller uh, it's behaving with the battery what we have measured so if you think this video will helpful for you don't forget to smash that like button subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell because I might post some interesting topic next time as well. Thank you very much. I wish you a great day.